Article 28. Shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $2,445 and $241 for the purpose of replacing approximately 872 existing street lights with more efficient, energy efficient LED lighting, further to authorize the Board of Selection to enter into an agreement with Affinity LED Lighting and accept an expected rebate from Unitil Electric in the amount, approximate amount of $122,120. Majority vote required. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen, five to zero. Recommended by the Municipal Budget Committee, eight to zero. Fiscal impact note provided by the Finance Department. The estimated 2019 tax impact on $245,241 is 7.3 cents per thousand dollars of valuation. Is there a motion to open discussion on article? So moved by Mr. Griffin, seconded by Ms. Woolsey. Sir. Again, for the record, Chris Jacobs, uh, Director of Public Works. Um, in an effort to find ways to do what we do better or uh, more cost effectively, um, became aware to the department uh, about 18 months ago that a number of other communities had latched on to uh, the idea of replacing all of their LED, all of their street lights in town with LED lights. Uh, not wanting to be the guinea pig, I let Dover, Summersworth, and Rochester uh, go first. They've um, one of the communities actually bid the project out, and then the other two communities uh, got approval from their various boards and councils to uh, work with the same vendor. So all three of those communities have now changed over all of their streetlights to LEDs. Uh, the partial first reason would be to do it is we're going to save on electricity. Right now, the street line, the last number I have in my brain is uh, $213,000 for electricity. It goes up several thousand dollars each year. When I first got here, it was just a shade around, or just under uh, $200,000. But for 245, they they'll change um, all 872 existing streetlights. Um, the company that those other three communities and a number of other communities, including New Hampshire DOT, are using Affinity uh, Lighting um, it is a um, veteran-owned company, and they do employ um, apparently predominantly and only uh, veterans in the uh, manufacture of these uh, or assembly of these fixtures, and the company is located in Dover. So it is uh, it's in keeping, if you will, with uh, making New Hampshire go forward. Unitil Electric has shown their support of the project and that they're willing to uh, waive or grant back to us and, LE, and Affinity Lighting uh, a grant amount of 122120 This is essentially half of the cost that they have uh, riding, if you will, on the fixtures that are already in the, in the, uh, on the poles. But they were willing to let this go by for very simple reasons. Uh, LED lighting works. Uh, it saves us all. It, it apparently meets with their long-term uh, fiscal goals also to, um, you know, keep this, keep uh, the communities uh, in line or, or help them stay in line with respect to their electrical bills. So it's a win-win for everybody. Um, it would take about, they've told me, about six to eight weeks to get all the lights uh, replaced in town. It would occur somewhere about three months after uh, an approval from the Board of Selectmen to actually enter into this contract yeah. with them. And um, overall, uh, the, uh, for the first five years, we have to pay back Unitil for the other half of the stranded cost on the lights, the other 120000 But we don't pay them out separately. We pay, are going to pay them um, out through what is uh, electricity savings, because right off the bat, you start saving about $5,000 a month in electrical costs, and their buyout is uh, about 4000 a month, which leaves us right off the bat, we'd start saving $1,000 a month. In electrical costs over the full 10 years, 
$1 million is what the town will save. So um, that portion of the budget will stay in check and if anything go and start really to go down after the fifth year. So I welcome any questions. Ms. Wolsey. This is exciting. We're going modern and we're saving money and we'll have better lighting. Thank you, Chris, for putting in this article. Great. Is there further discussion on Article 28? Seeing none, Article 28 will appear on the ballot as I'll printed. Make, oh, I'll make a motion excuse to me. Reconsider, restrict reconsideration on 26, 27, and 28. Second. Okay. It's been moved and seconded to restrict reconsideration on articles 26, 27, and 28. All those in favor, raise your cards. Cards down. Opposed? The motion's carried. Thank you to Pat Bushway for handling those last uh, several articles are much appreciated. We'll move on to Article 29. As we look forward to the uh, lunchtime break, we'll go no later than 12.30. Uh, so let's see um, how many articles we can get through between now and then. Article 29, shall the Town of Hampton vote to establish a sidewalk and Americans with Disabilities Improvement Capital Reserve Fund under the provisions of RSA 35 for the purpose of estimating, designing, building, building new, replacing and improving sidewalks in either concrete or asphalt, depending on location, signage and illuminated crosswalk infrastructure, including accessibility pursuant to the Americans Disabilities Act, and to raise and appropriate the sum of $100,000 to go into said capital reserve fund and appoint the Board of Selectmen as agents to expend from said fund. Further, to authorize the Board of Selectmen to apply for, accept, and expend any federal, state, or local grants and funds for the purposes of estimating, designing, building new, replacing, and improving sidewalk signage and illuminated crosswalk infrastructure, including improving accessibility pursuant to the Americans with Disabilities Act, with said grants and funds to be added to the capital reserve fund created hereunder. Majority vote required, recommended by the Board of Selectmen for. 01, not recommended by the Budget Committee 080. Fiscal impact note from the Finance Department, the estimated 2019 tax impact on $100,000 is 3.0 cents per thousand dollars evaluation. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 29? Moved by Mr. Bridal. Is there second? Seconded by Mr. Waddell. Uh, Mr. Jacobs, would you like to be heard on Article 29? I would. Thank you. Uh, for the record, Chris Jacobs. Um, this is uh, another initiative, along with the street lighting uh, type of initiative, that uh, the department's trying to embrace, We're trying to move forward. Um, of critical nature is that around town we are deficient um, with respect to our ADA uh, requirements, meaning accessibility to sidewalks for people with disabilities. Um, Along with that, I've noticed that there's been, in the past, a number of articles trying to move various sidewalks forward. Sidewalks in themselves, uh, from a project management perspective, uh, don't stand up very well, meaning that <clears throat> there's very few contractors that are interested in coming out and doing some sidewalk improvements for us for the twenty-five or $30,000 that we currently have in the budget. I think the Budget line is actually 26,000. So the intent is to have this $100,000 capital reserve fund uh, available to the department at the discretion of the Board of Selectmen that as we tackle various streets, like for instance, we're on Ann's Lane now, is where we've gone below and we've taken care of the sewer and we've done the drainage and the paving, that the other portion that always needs to address and seems to get the short stick is the sidewalks. So this particular fund would uh, allow us to uh, access these funds to be used in conjunction with other department funds, other resources, including um, our pavement grant money, uh, to get a much better project done, a complete project done, um, do it all at the same time rather than nickel and diamond or coming back later on and digging up new pavement, which I hate to do. The other reason for this particular article was I was asked to be on the review committee for uh, each year there's grant money available through New Hampshire Department of Transportation, um, a 
portion of the gas tax money is always set aside for two programs called the TAP grant program and the TIGER grant program. Uh, these are funds that the schools have even applied for and used in the past to make improvements to sidewalks around the schools. It was interesting to see the rating process and what allowed certain communities to actually get money and other communities not to be eligible for money is they had previously committed through th a program like this, having a capital reserve plan in place to show that they already had matching money. 